Hello, and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Um, I thought, uh, for the first one, I might as well, um, do what the channel's mostly gonna be about, is, uh, uh Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! So, uh, I decided to do a little bit of an overview of, um, um, my Magic the Gathering deck. And, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be a, a little bit awkward in the first couple videos, but I should get around it. And, uh, yeah, uh, there's a box. Uh, the box I'm using, I got in my local uh, gaming store. And uh, here comes my good old friend. Um, his name is Timmy. Yes, I did name my uh, thorny-sided dice Timmy. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I guess just might as well get right into it. This is a pre-recorded video. I'm just, you know, overdoing my voice over it. Uh, for me, it's it's easier because I can't really talk and do some at the same time. <laughs> The background music, uh, I'm using, on my iPad, there's this app that came with it, it was called, um, iMovie, and, uh, it's fairly good, I mean, you can, like, do a video and play music and stuff over it, so that's what I'm doing now, and, uh, yeah, so let's, uh, just get right into it, I guess, <laughs> my first card is, uh, Corthroid Soul Hoarder, can't pronounce it word jack, but, alright, so, we have... Crossroad, the soul hoarder guy. Then we have three undead servants. Uh, they're pretty good. Once they go to the graveyard, that makes the yellow ones even better. And up next here, we have a uh, Nank to Husk. I think that's how that's pronounced. Nank to Ku. I don't know. <laughs> and up next, we have two return centaurs. Uh, you'll see why they're in there in a little bit. And then we have an Eblite Assassin. A Reeve Soul. Good for taking out those, uh, you know, little not so powerful monsters. We have a Nightmare. Got him up to a 10 10 once. Pretty good. We have a Night Snare. Where is it? Ah, there it is. I knew it was hiding. There's two Night Snares. Then we have a Infernal Scarring. A Sengir Vampire. Pretty good, I'm thinking about taking them out. But we have a uh, Necromantic Summons. It's pretty good. Get any monster from any graveyard. to your uh, bathroom. We have two Cruel Revivals. <clears throat> then we have a Reverend. That's why I added those uh, Return Centaurs in there. Kind of slim out the deck, get him a little bit stronger. Then we have a Guardians of Mel... Melitus. And we have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 swamps. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mountains. And coming up to the reds, we have two blazing hellhounds. A dragon fodder. Three fiery impulses. Uh, two of my favorites, Chandra's Ignition and Chandra's Fury pretty good and we have a Shivan dragon Shivan dragon one of them a ravaging blaze well uh, we got a little bit of a different recording spot here so uh, yeah but uh, we got three enthralling victors they're pretty good um, uh, basically you can take control of your enemy uh, creature and it gains haste so you can attack with it as soon as you take control of it so that's pretty good and uh, art of Treason or active treason is basically the same thing, only it's a spell. So, with the uh, Thrilling Victor, not only do you get a 3 2 monster, but you also get to take control of an enemy monster with power 2 or less. It gains haste, but an active, active treason is better because, say, they have like a 6 7, you can just take control of it and hit them for 6 right away. It's pretty good. So yeah, that was uh, that was my deck, uh, Magic the Gathering. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and it's like cruddy nature, but um, I don't know, like I've always kind of wanted to do things like this, so might as well try it, you know, yeah, start somewhere. So I um, don't know why the audio just cut in here, I'm going to take that out probably, but um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do a few. Um, Mostly Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. I'll be doing magic, magic things here and there. 
uh, Mexican you know, pack openings, like reviewing certain boxes and structure decks that come out and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be, I hope it's gonna be a pretty good. I hope you guys enjoy. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, yeah. Now I wanted to, I want to be sort of you know semi original on here. And uh, what I wanted to do was, um, I want to like start doing like a story at the end of all my videos. So, like at the end of this one, I'll do a little story that happened to me today. And the next one, I'll do a story that happened to me that day. So, yeah. So this story started when I first had to go downstairs to go to the bathroom. And I didn't want to wake up my parents, so I was quiet. And I crept into the kitchen, looked over, and our counter was just piled with bread. Like bread, a lot, a lot, and different sorts of breads. And I thought, why is there this much bread? And I thought, well, what is this? Some sort of we trying to smuggle bread into different countries? And I was like, Psh, I don't know. But I couldn't help myself. I tasted each bread. Three of them were horrible. Never, I don't suggest that to my worst enemy. And the rest of them were decent. And yeah, I just thought it was, you know, a little cool thing. I shook because I was like. How retarded is my family to get this much bread? Just set it on the table for everyone to see. But yeah, 